Hopkins Robotics and LCSR create a unique environment at the intersection of engineering and medicine. What I really want to do is explore um, where robotics can go. And I love how LCSR is so interdisciplinary and collaborative, and it really gives the opportunity to do that. My research uses virtual reality to understand how animals such as fish, rats, and humans use their nervous system to control movement. A number of us had interests in robotics beyond uh, just simply medical robotics. Right on campus, we have testing facilities such as the Underwater Robotics Lab. I'm interested in the control and navigation of underwater robotics. Hopkins provides world-class facilities like our Hydro Lab, which has a 42,000 gallon tank. This past summer, I spent two weeks deployed off of Bermuda testing my instruments on the Atlantic Explorer. I think what really makes us special is our collaborative culture between departments and divisions. Uh, and so there are a lot of opportunities for both collaboration within the, the School of Engineering here, but also with the hospital system. We work very close together to bring different aspects to solve the same problem. We have a real-world test bed, and we have tons of world-known surgeons here that we can collaborate with. Specifically in otolaryngology requires a lot of very small, miniaturized things that we have to work on, um, which really robotics is, is just ideally suited for. So our role is that we provide clinical insights and we also kind of provide them with clinical problems. My overall research program is to bring robotic assistants closer to humans, how to bring robots to augment human capabilities. And so we're interested in ways in which we can use our sense of touch as a communication channel uh, for human-robot interaction. Here as an engineer, I get to collaborate with surgeons, work on clinically relevant problems, and develop computer-aided solutions that can potentially improve healthcare outcomes. I was interested in exploring this new emerging area of imaging called photoacoustic imaging. And so my lab is actually the first in the world to integrate photoacoustic imaging with the DaVinci robot. You're working along faculty members and students in electrical engineering, computer science, maybe even on the same team now working on these large robotic systems. What we're interested in, really it's a three-way partnership between people, technology and information to do useful things in the physical world.